everyone. I'm Anthony. And I'm Samia Khan, your new Signal co-host. Welcome to Signal, Samia. Thanks so much, Anthony. Anyways, we've got a lot of great stuff lined up for this episode, starting with the recently released 3D Bloggy camera. Now, some of you may remember that Signal got a first look at this camera back at CES in January. This was super cool, and I only got to have my hands on it for a couple minutes, but it's really awesome to have like a full 3D video camera in your hands wherever you go. Yeah, I'm kind of jealous that I wasn't there, but fortunately, I got to tag along on this next shoot. This time, we opened up Sony's new 3D bloggy camera, but to get a better sense of the parts and how they work, I gave it to someone who knows a thing or two about the inner guts of a gadget. Kyle Weens is the CEO of iFixit.com, a site all about taking consumer devices apart so you can learn how to repair them. Now, earlier this week, he joined me in the studio to walk us through our 3D bloggy camera teardown. Kyle, thanks so much for joining me and helping me tear apart this 3D bloggy. It is my first teardown, kind of excited. Question. Have you taken apart a 3D camera before? Yeah, I took apart the Nintendo 3DS uh, the other day, and it was interesting to see how they calibrate the, the different cameras. So I was excited to get inside this and see Sony's take on the same problem. Are there any fun facts that you learned just in regards to the 3D cameras in general? Yeah, 3D is really a challenge because traditional 3D, you had to have uh, glasses to be able to see, right? Which is, which is a challenge if you're shooting in 3D, you want to see the effect in real time. And so what they're doing here with the LCD is a new technology that allows you to see the 3D without having glasses. So while I'm shooting, you can actually look at the LCD screen and see what the 3D looks like. Right. Got it. Okay, so let's take this apart. What do you have here? So what we've got here, this is the, the front case of the bloggy. The rear panel is actually really cool. This is a, uh, a textured rubber plastic coating that uh, makes it so it won't slip out of your hand. Okay. It feels really nice. And then from left to right here, I've got the, uh, the battery, uh, fairly large battery. And uh, then this is the very special LCD, which I'll talk about here in a second. Then this here is the touch controller. Mm -hmm. And then the, the two 3D cam well, 2D cameras combine them to make 3D. Yeah, the two lenses. Right. And then we've got the uh, the main processing board and the, the memory controller, and then these are the frame components. Okay, so you mentioned the LCD. What makes this LCD so unique? So this LCD is a little bit thicker than a normal LCD, and the reason is that it has an additional film inside that's called a parallax barrier. Okay. The, the parallax film creates uh, lines where it, it sends a different signal to one eye than, than it sends to the other. So it actually bends the light differently, and you end up with one completely different picture being shown to your left eye than your right eye. So you can see it. Now the trick is you have to have it exactly in, in the right place in front of you, and only one person can see it at a time. Uh, but it's, it's really, really cool. It allows you to see it without glasses. Got it. That's important because we're not always carrying around glasses no, all the time. No. <laughs> I don't really want to be wearing 3D glasses when I'm <laughs> shooting video. And then the 3D effect is created by rather small cameras. And, and you look at this and you think this is the camera. Check this out. I'm going to take the cover off. And you can see these are actually the cameras underneath. Oh, wow. So this is a little like R2-D2 looking <laughs> covers. Cute. But the cameras are, are quite small. These are two 5 megapixel cameras. Uh, the the bloggy can shoot 5 megapixel still photos or when you, you switch to 3D mode, then it combines the image of the two cameras. Now that doesn't mean you get 10 megapixels, it means that it's uh, interlacing the images together to create a uh, 1080p 3D video image. So in order to get a 3D effect, you have to have dual lenses? You have to have two separate cameras, so it gives you two separate vantage points, just like your eyes are spaced apart, right? Now the distance between the cameras is very particular, and when, when they're manufacturing these, they actually have to measure these down to the fraction of the millimeter, and then they assemble it, they glue it together so they can't budge, and then they calibrate each device off the assembly line separately. So they're they're measuring to pixel perfect because you wouldn't want it aligned slightly differently. It could cause headaches. The 3D image has to be perfectly constructed. Got it. We don't like headaches. So this here, this is the main processor. This is uh, what we call a system on chip. It's basically an entire computer in one chip that's about the size of a postage stamp. You can see my thumb there. And this has integrated on it a full-on H.264 3D video processor. So it's merging in real time the images and creating a single frame, a 3D frame from the two cameras. And then there's some various support circuitry on here. You can see this is where the two cameras connect to the main board there. Mm -hmm. The camera actually has 8 gigs of memory as well, correct? That's right. right there. So this here, this is a flash memory chip. This is the same part that you would have inside of an SD card. Uh, but on this camera, it doesn't have an SD card that's integrated into the camera. So you can't upgrade it, but you've got 8 gigabytes, which actually with 3D, which takes a lot of space, it still has room for 80 minutes of 3D. So you video. can still take over an hour of 3D. Mm -hmm video. Right. And 2D, what's that, around four it's, hours? It's around four hours. Got yeah. it. 
Very cool. And then this here, maybe uh, the most interesting mechanically, is <laughs> this is a built-in USB port, so you can plug it right into your computer. Check this out. Pretty cool. Then this here, this is uh, a heat sink and electromagnetic shield, but primarily you can feel how rigid that is. That's providing a lot of the structural support. The, the bloggy feels pretty solid and it's mm -hmm. mostly coming from this metal frame that runs through the center of it. And then these here are just cooling uh, pads to wick heat off of the processor onto this. Got it. Well, Kyle, thanks to you, I've learned a lot about the inner workings of a 3D bloggy, so thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Okay, so iFixit is a great site for those of you who like to tinker with electronics. However, keep in mind that when you crack open a device, it could void your warranty depending on the brand. So just a word of warning to check into that before trying it yourself. Anyway, I want to thank Kyle again for joining me. And if you guys are interested in getting the 3D Bloggy, it's available right now and you can get all the details from the Sony website. And of course, to watch more of Signal, be sure to visit us at youtube.com signal.